नमस्कार लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी माइक्रो कंट्रोलर फ्रॉम माइक्रोचिप दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एट बिट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड दिस इज मोस्ट पॉपुलर सीरीज व्हिच इज पिक 16f 877e ओके सो दिस पर्टिकुलर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज देयर इन 40 पिन एंड 44 पिन एज वेल एज वेल एज अ स्मॉलर वन इज 28 पिन आल्सो ओके सो this is most popular in academics and engineering studies and as well as you know like automotive applications and all those things and <clears throat> this is only having 35 instructions so let's directly get into the uh, device detail so once you see the microchip technology website you will have you know like uh, this is the microcontroller pic 16f 877a okay however uh, by now it has become little bit older and there is a newer device that is available which is pic 16f 18877 okay so if you are going to design your new device or new applications or something like that you can always go ahead with this new one however uh, for learning purpose for the students and you know like even professionals if they are you know like going with very less number of instructions uh, they can still go ahead with pic 16f 877 So our aim is to learn the basics of uh, this PIC uh, microcontroller, PIC 16F microcontroller. So you can see some of the you know like uh, uh, features like we have the powerful yet easy to design or easy easy to program. Only 35 instructions are there, okay? And it has you know like 8 bit microcontroller, and it is having just 40 and 40 pin pin 44 pin packages, and just now I showed you. you can see very good dip package so easily available a sturdy and you know like a very strong one so easy to handle even this uh, tqfp 44 package is very easy to handle okay coming to the fact that uh, you know like other things uh, we have a uh, features like 2 256 bytes of eeprom data memory i'll show you this in all you know like uh, a table form it will be very easy for you to understand and remember as well so you have to just remember uh, pic 16 f 877 a has 256 bytes of data memory then self programming and icd is there in circuit debugger is there and then two comparator eight channels of 10 bit adcs total eight channels are there okay of 10 bit adcs and then two capture and compare pwm functionalities are there okay so this way and we, it can be configured either three wire peripherals or even two wire inter integrated circuit okay so three wire spi and two wire i2c okay <coughs> so i have already told you i2c or i square c or that is inter integrated circuit what it is and how it works even serial peripheral interface i have already explained in our previous videos it has a uart as well okay and all these features make it ideal for advanced level of analog to digital application in automotive industrial appliances and consumer application so these are the four points that you have to keep in mind like why it is most popular in past around 10 15 years okay so this particular device is very very popular for past 15 years and it is ruling the market all over the world okay because of its usability in automotive applications industrial applications appliances and uh, consumer applications okay <clears throat> so let's directly jump into the website of uh, microchip so once we <laughs> write down pic 16f 877a and we reach to microchip website what it says is it has an alternative available that i ju just now mentioned it, okay and this is the thing that i just now explained you like what are the applications and features and all those things let's go to the product features so first of all you have to understand it is uh, having two pwms 10 bit okay next it has 256 bytes of eeprom memory okay you have to remember these things because it will come in your exam as well and if you are a professional you just can go always directly into the website and see these things the most important part is it has the capability of ios having 25 milliampere sync or source it means 
from one IO pin, one IO pin, it can give you 25 milliampere output current or it can sink also 25 milliampere output current. So while <clears throat> I will be teaching you interfacing the LEDs or something like that, so there even high current LEDs can be driven uh, either as a sink or as a source from the microcontroller. It has a self programming capabilities and parallel slip ports. Okay. Now coming to the more you know like parametric forms, uh, it has a program memory of 14 KB. So 14 kilobytes of you know like plus memory is there. It has a RAM also which is having you know 368 bytes. I told you EEPROM okay electrically erasable program memories. So that is 256 bytes. Total pin count is 40 that we will be taking in our design tutorials okay. Now the operating voltage is 5.5 volt maximum and 2 volt minimum. So it can work either you know like even 3.3 volt uh, uh, you know like uh, techniques or as well as 5 volt okay. So those two are a standard voltage 3.3 volt and 5 volt. So both will be applicable for this particular microcontroller. ADC resolution you have to remember this is having 10 bit ADC resolutions and ADC channels are 8 and zero cross detection false means there is no zero cross detection available okay number of comparators are only two okay and SPI is one SPI one I to C like one I square C is there okay <laughs> it has a stand alone PWM no there is no stand alone PWM low power capability no and it has numerically controlled oscillator no digital data signal modulator DSM no so these whichever are no that you will come to know that they have released a new microcontroller and they have all those features that is included however our aim is to understand because it is mostly used in uh, you know like academic programs universities engineering universities and everywhere okay all right so i think you have a, a better idea of how uh, this microcontroller is going to be <coughs> Now if I open this data sheet, you will come to know uh, almost all the features, okay. And design tools, uh, your university or you know like your company will be already having ICD, uh, you know like uh, this uh, <coughs> PIC kit 5 or ICD 5, okay. So there are two kits, MPLAB PIC kit 5 or MPLAB ICD 5 in circuit debugger and programmer and even ICD 4 is there but these two are mostly used. ICD5 or PIC kit 5 okay and development environment basically you will be using you know like uh, MPLAB XID for your programming uh, for this particular microcontroller and MPLAB XC8 compiler will be there for you know like uh, your running your uh, program okay that's all so with this what we will do is we can directly go ahead and see what are the product details so actual part number of this will be uh, PIC 16F877A-I-P so this is 40 pin P deep means it is through hole component and working at minus 40 to 85 degrees centigrade okay if you want to have a more you know like uh, <coughs> temperature range then you can replace this I with E so PIC 16F877A-E slash P so this is also same so pin to pin compatible both of them this also and this also however uh, <coughs> the temperature range of this particular device is more. coming to the 44 pin package so 44 pin uh, you know like a pic 16 lf 877a slash i slash uh, dash i slash pp okay so this is lf 44 pin package okay and uh, pic 16f this is also 44 pin package this so if you see l it means it is low power it means it can work up to 3.3 volt okay like 3.3 volt application this will be most suitable and this will be still suitable for 3.3 as well as 5 volt okay so what i will do is i will take up this <coughs> and we have lot of other you know like variants now directly move to the uh, you know like uh, I will show you in product comparison here uh, I have opened <coughs> from DG key one of the best distributor of you know like uh, electronics component so you can see 
uh, this is having a 40 pin dip package okay just now i told you pick 16f 877 slash i p okay so what are the features can you see product status is active means it is still being produced and it has been verified from DigiKey as well core processor is pick 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 microcontroller this is also called very frequently pick microcontroller core size is 8 bits so 8 bit microcontroller speed is 20 megahertz so pick controller 8 bit microcontroller 20 megahertz it can work up, up to then connectivity like what are the communication connectivity so it has i2c spi uart okay what are the peripherals so peripherals are like bor is there brownout detect and brownout reset okay power on reset is there the pwm and watchdog timer all are there okay how many number of ios pins are there like how many input output pins are there so it has 33 pins okay like 33 ios are there it has program memory capacity just now i mentioned 14 kb okay so whatever these things i am telling you it is all there in our uh, i mean microchip website as well or as well as in our data sheet okay now <clears throat> program memory type is flash memory just now i told you e prom that is 256 byte okay because it is into 8 so 8 bits is 1 byte okay ram size i told you 368 bytes and the uh, voltage supply that will be working from 4 to 5.5 this particular device pdp is going to work on 5 volt okay <coughs> and 44 pin will work from you know like uh, 2 volt to 5.5 that we have to see data converters is uh, 8 channels into 10 bits okay and if you want to uh, put external uh, oscillator it doesn't have internal oscillator it will be having external oscillator okay and operating temperature is minus 40 degree 25 degree <clears throat> so if you want to go for uh, uh, minus 40 to 125 that you have to go ahead with dash e slash p okay this is i slash p that you have to go for e slash p which is extended temperature okay next <clears throat> uh it has you know like a mounting type as through hole and package says just now i told you 14 pin deep package got it so these are the things uh, that were available for for this particular microcontroller and what we will do is we will go ahead with uh, data sheet and try to understand the complete functionality of this particular microcontroller so let's open data sheet <coughs> Once you go to data sheet, uh, you will see it has, you know, like other parts as well. Pick 16F, 877A, I am teaching you. But at the place of this X, you can write down 7, 5, all, uh, 3, all these things, okay? So, <clears throat> this is the included device, 873A, 874A, 876A and 877A. So, these all, you know, like uh, different parts can vary based on their part number, uh, you know, like uh, pin configurations or pins. So, it can, you can see 28 pin, 40 pin and 44 pin are there, okay. Next, it has high performance RISC CPU, like central processing unit, okay. And it has only 35 instructions. Uh, so, if you remember all these 35 instructions, you will be able to write all the, you know, like programs on it. <laughs> If you do not remember, no problem, you can always go ahead with uh, microchip website or the data sheet and refer them to write your program if you are not a student, okay. If you are a student in your curriculum, you may need to remember these uh, word instructions to complete your examinations as well. Now operating speed, I can tell you just now uh, DC to 20 megahertz clock input, got it? Now it has up to 8 kilo, uh, 8 kilo into 16 watts of flash program memory. So just now I told you like 14 KB uh, flash memory is there, uh, okay. And 368 bytes of uh, RAM and 256 bytes of EEPROM. Now pin compatible of other 28 pin or 40 and 44 pins are also available. Just now I was going to tell you like pick 16 F C. Uh, series is there the previous one was pick 16 uh, uh, c series now pick 16 f series was also there then they have released this 
pic 16f 877 and also they are compatible with these devices the previous ones okay peripherals uh, more deeper if you go it has timer 0 8 bit timer and counter with 8 bit prescaler and 16 bit timer is there okay then timer 2 so timer 0 1 and 2 okay so it has also 8 bit timer and counter with 8 bit period register prescaler and post scaler so how these things works prescaler post scaler and register that i will be teaching you once we get, get into the programming it has two capture compare and pwm modules okay and pwm maximum resolution is 10 bit it has synchronous serial ports like ssp with spi master mode and i square c master and slave both so yes even it is wor working as a spi interface then it will be working only as a master okay like it will only control the peripheral device let's say you are going to add some external adcs or io expander or any other parts right but if it is working as i square c then it can work as a master as well as slave boot <coughs> coming to the fact next one is uh, uart so uh, uart it has 9 bit address detection then parallel slave port is there it has the capability of read write and chip select okay and brownout detection and brownout reset that we already saw coming to the fact of you know like analog features so what are the analog features it has 10 bit capabilities uh, i mean adcs of up to eight channels so basically you can you know like monitor eight uh, you know like uh, parameters or eight voltage levels pressures or temperature any anything you want to you know like uh, convert from analog to digital uh, up to eight things or up to eight you know like uh, parameters you can compare with this particular microcontroller there are capabilities of converting uh, you know like well, i mean using only one adcs for almost eight out uh, uh, i mean eight parameters by using some switches or multiplexers or something like that okay it has brownout reset uh, power comparator modules with two analog comparator is there okay so it has two comparators and it has on chip voltage reference also okay so you don't have to worry about uh, voltage reference for analog to digital converter separately it has programmable input multiplexing from device input and internal voltage reference so <coughs> you may you may not understand this programmable input multiplexing uh, however uh, this is fine coming to the fact of a special microcontroller feature what are the special microcontroller features so it has uh, 100,000 of erase and write cycle okay so you can you can program 100,000 times okay 100,000 times okay it means 1 lakh times <laughs> you can erase it write it erase it write it so it's very sturdy then it has 1 million capacity capability of erase write for eprom so eprom data you will be using those eprom for live data storage okay so that you can erase and write 1 million times okay that is 10 lakhs times and the data retention capacity for the eprom is <coughs> more than 40 years so once you write the data it will remain there for 40 years okay it has self reprogrammable under software control if you have written a software then it will be self program uh, programmable it has in circuit serial programming icsp okay and single supply 5 bit 5 volt in circuit serial programming so 5 volt is enough uh, 5 volt is sufficient or it can work with 5 volt as well it has watchdog timer and it has on chip rc oscillator for reliable operation so it, on the chip itself it has oscillators you don't need external oscillator for this okay now uh, programmable code protection is there like what, whatever the program that you have written that can be protected uh, it will not be you know like uh, uh, I mean uh, mollified or something like that then power saving sleep mode is there selectable oscillator option is there like you can select oscillator out, uh, external oscillator also and it has in circuit debug via two pins so just now I told you only by wire or two wire programming <coughs> okay good so once we have uh, reached to this uh, uh, microcontroller special features now coming to the fact of cmos technology 
So CMOS technology, since it is CMOS, it will be having very low power, very high speed EEPROM technology, fully static device, like I am telling you continuously, it is very sturdy device, it is very, you know, like easy to handle and very strong one, okay. Then while ordering uh, operating voltage is 2 volt to 5.5 volt, commercial industrial temperature range is also available. So commercial temperature range was just now I told you minus 40 degree to 85 degree centigrade, okay. And industrial will be, uh, you can go ahead minus 40 degree to 125 degree centigrade. So it was slash, I mean, uh, dash I slash P and it was E slash P. So part numbers you can, you know, like uh, order according to this. <coughs> And it has low power consumption. Now, what are the you know like uh, different devices that were available? Since we are you know like always focusing on PIC 16F 877A, it has other parts also, uh, <coughs> which are <coughs> 873A, 874A, 876A. And as you can see, their program memories are a bit less. Okay, 7.2 KB kilobytes, 7.2 kilobytes, and this is 14.3 kilobytes. Okay. <clears throat> it has single instruction set, so it has 4096, but it has more than that, okay, 81, right, like double of that, 8192. SRAM data is 192 uh, bytes, it has double of that, like 368 three uh, bytes. Then EEPROM, you can uh, still compare both of them, I mean, this is 128 bytes, this is 256 bytes, double of that. <laughs> It is having lower pin count that is the lower pin <laughs> lower IOs and it is because of lower pin count. So it is 28 pins because of that IOs are only 22 and it has 44 pin or 40 pins. So <clears throat> the IOs are 33. <coughs> 10 bit channels all, all of them are having 10 bit channel but they are having only uh, 5 ADC channels and this is having 8 bit. 8 ADC channels. So 74 and 77 both are having almost uh, same number of ADC channel. PWM capture compare uh, PWM are like two, two in each one of them. SPI is there available. Master I2C is also available. UART is also available. Timers is also available. 8 bit and 16 bit both. Comparators are also available. So only in terms of IOs and program memory size they are different. So I'll be focusing only on 877A, okay. <clears throat> Coming to the fact that uh, it has 28 pins, so 28 pin you can see 873 and 876, okay. So I'm not going to mention this right now. <clears throat> then uh, 44 pin, uh, this is my VQFN package, okay. So it will be having 77 and 74 both. So they are pin compatible to each other. So if you want to go ahead with lower, uh, you know, like uh, I mean memory, then 874 is fine or 877 is good one. Okay. I'll tell you uh, the, you know, like a uh, pin configuration or pin descriptions, like what are the other pins and what is their functionalities in my next tutorials. However, I will just introduce you with available devices. So. We will be studying 44 pin <coughs> 877, okay. Next, 40 pin also we will be studying 877 one, okay. So, this one we will be studying as well as this as well, uh, <coughs> 44 pin PLCC package. So, 44 pin QFN package, 44 pin PLCC package and 40 pin PDIP package, okay. So these three devices we will be studying, this will be very easy to uh, uh, handle and at the same time TQFP package is very sturdy one. So TQFP package is just now I showed you a diagram. So this is your TQFP package and this is your QFN pa PLCC package or something like that. QFN will be much inside, okay. So this is your PLCC package and this is your PD package, okay. Got it. <laughs> so hope you have understood. Now we have reached to the table of contents and we will go ahead with each one of the modules one by one. But generally I wanted to you know like give you an understanding of uh, the overview of uh, uh, PIC uh, overview of PIC 16F 877A. Okay. And what are the features? What are the different peripherals that is available with us? And why it is most popular in for you know like in the industries or in the world for past 
15 20 years okay so this is the reason and it is very easy to handle uh, it has only 35 instructions to uh, write down all the programs and very useful for your automobile consumer application or appliances or you know like industrial applications anything okay so all right guys hope you have enjoyed you if you do have any questions or any you know like explanations that you need regarding your pic 16f uh, microcontrollers and if you are uh, having any you know like uh, uh, design issues or anything uh, you can always reach out to me thank you